Jack's Cavalier days as a torpedo boat captain came to an abrupt end on Monday, August 2nd. Early that morning, he was on patrol in Japanese-infested waters. It was a horribly confused patrol that he was on. His commander was a very strange man. Just the fact that he wouldn't let the boats communicate with one another. They were forbidden to have any communication when they got out on their patrol station. Uh, and that, that was unheard of over where we were. In the terrible confusion of battle, PT-109 was rammed by a Japanese destroyer, sliced in half. What he did after that was, to me, was really outstanding. I mean, it was a, an a, acts of, several acts of great heroism, keeping his crew together, uh, getting them ultimately to an island. He just did a superlative job of holding that crew together. Of the 13 men aboard the burning, sinking boat, only two died, a tribute to Jack's seamanship. He swam them to an island behind enemy lines, personally towing one injured man for miles. For seven days, they survived on unripened coconuts, bugs, and the few drops of fresh water they could gather. Every night, Jack swam out into the channel, hoping to hail a passing patrol. Finally, they were rescued, only because Jack trusted some natives to deliver an SOS message carved on the shell of a green coconut. An Australian coast watcher received the coconut and sent word to the British who wired the U.S. Navy that 11 men from PT-109 were alive. Jack retrieved that coconut and kept it for the rest of his life. He had it encased in plastic on his desk to look at it every day, and I suppose he thought, no matter how bad things may get at any time, I'm looking at that coconut, remembering when it was almost an impossible situation, not knowing from day to day if we were going to live. <laughs>